Hey guys, Clumsy here. There you go, there's the, there's the sound. And welcome back to OMSI 2, Bus Company Simulator. We are currently in a different map today. We are in Bodena, as some people have suggested. So we are still in the 0405. And why did I forget my track IR? Man, one sec. Give me a second. There you go. Track IR cap is on. We should be good to go. There. Alright. So, I decided to change the format a bit. Instead of starting inside the depot in the company, I started. I decided to start in the actual bus so we can get some driving ASAP. And then after the trip, then we can take a look at the company and how it's going. Yeah, maybe that will be better. So, I haven't set everything up yet. I did start the engine... Uh, this is the city bus 0405 still. I did turn on the fans and everything and all the lights. Yeah, the lights. Uh, but I have not done most of the configs yet. So I'll take you guys with me. So first and foremost, let's follow what the, the bus company simulator is saying. We are doing line 375 today. Let's have a look. Now, I decided personally that I wouldn't... Uh, do this anymore I wouldn't uh, punish myself anymore but uh, wait a minute where is it did I miss it 22 375 there you go I, I I told myself I don't I won't punish myself anymore by driving in Bodenham because it just it's just really uh, dangerous it's very crashy it's uh, you, you you tend to crash into vehicles invisible vehicles and uh, invisible passengers sometimes so uh, this is just a heads up this is probably not going to be a very clean run right just to make it very clear there so do expect a lot of bumps especially in this part here in a field way and horse carriage road that bit of road is the tightest one i've seen now ideally I, I would have wanted to take the Cito with me, the 0520, which is a smaller bus, a midi bus. But it's currently in repair, uh, the right indicator is not working, so we'll have to uh, work with something else. We'll have to work with the 0405 and have it fit through those tight corners. I'm not sure if I can manage, but we will surely try. Right, but yes, hang with me and uh, we will try to make it through this. Okay, alright, I think... Alright, we have a bit different uh, arrows here that's also something that I did so there is this dynamic system of arrows and uh, Bodenam is using that so you can see the arrows there are a bit different from the blue ones that I, s I showed in the previous episode anyway let's get started here uh, let me go and change the ticketing machine I don't like that I like the futuristic one that one let me add the curtains. The curtains I, I recognized was uh, literally curtains. So you can see this bus doesn't have curtains. If we click that, not that one. Let me turn off track IR. There. Toggle that. Now you can see curtains there, the green ones. Yeah. Just a bit of uh, aesthetic addition. Automatic and manual doors. When you click that, new buttons appear here. That is going to make it automatic. Hubcaps black ones by default we can make that white or something else white with a different uh, design let's make that the second one that one I like okay the doors I, I always want painted doors I don't know why yeah that one I like so that one is the default that one is uh, with a VHH logo this is a VHH uh, sign I, I probably not fitting Bodenham so much but it's fine okay the only two options there I think strange anyway all right uh what else rpm toggle uh it's hard kind of hard to see from this angle but the rpm is there uh, supposedly there but now it's not so we can click that rpm toggle and that should make the rpm appear there wait a minute why are you not appearing there you go now it's at the rpm so if i rev up that fixes itself Earlier it was like the oil level, I think. The taco graph we can also change. But wait a minute, before I do anything else, let me set the line here. 375 uh, up here. Line 375, I would guess that's root B. Let's see. 
Um, route B, I guess. Okay. That kind of got wrecked. I'm not sure if this bus works here, to be honest. Maybe it doesn't, huh? Let's let's change the, the IBIS. We can toggle that by clicking the change destination display. And that should... Hmm. That should make it different now. There you go, that's the old school one. Uh, I clicked something different. Okay, not that one. Alright. One, two. Two clicks. One more. That's the one. That's the one I know. That IBIS. So if we put here line 37500, put in route, I don't know, 01, Harryfield Station, that's the opposite one. Let's put 02 here. There you go. From Harryfield to uh, Apsley Bus Station. Yeah. That's the one, Harryfield to Apsley Bus Station. Because we're currently in Harryfield. Correct? Yes. Okay, we got that. So now, this one, 375, 00, 02. Coming from Harryfield to Apps, uh, Apps Bus Station. And we are 1.5 minutes late, uh, early. So we're just in time. I think we're about, we should leave now. Right? Close that. Minimize that. And let's get going. Wish me luck, guys. We really need it. I would really need it in this trip because you can see you will see you'll see what I mean it's still a bit cold passengers might complain but that will be the least of their worries in this trip I assure you okay turn right here there's the station those are the people waiting Okay. So this is basically a U-turn slot, huh? Now in Bodenham, hey, driver. most of the people buy tickets, so it's not a very good sign for us. Uh, 270. 370, my bad. Okay, don't hang on me now. There you go. Yeah, most of the people buy tickets in here. So it's going to be bad for us because we're using advanced ticketing. It's going to be pretty realistic. So hopefully we manage it somehow. But yeah, as you know, this game is pretty f unforgiving. It really doesn't... Uh, every minor error you make is made into a humongous deal. Like if you hit the curb a little, people will complain, Oh, what are you doing? Worst driving ever. I'm gonna leave the bus. Things like that. And the force feedback on the wheel is just the worst, like the strongest. Although you can change that, but I kind of like it anyway because it helps. Way. Because it helps a bit. It helps you uh, realize the 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 level of how force critical it is, road. how critical the the hits are. Like each minor thing that happens. It's a big deal already, so it might as well reflect that in the force feedback as well. Although it is a bit stressful when that happens, to be honest. Okay, hit the curb a little. Just a teeny weeny bit. Nothing major. Yeah, you can see the roads here now. Yeah, this is gonna be this way. It's gonna be this way. Why are you guys... Where are you guys going? Alright. You wanna ride already? Fine. Lady. <laughs> oh no, here we go. 2, 4, 20. Hello One, way. One way, sure thing. 7 pounds for you. Right. How are we doing on time? We are doing not too bad yet. Let's go! Yeah, so it's a one-way road that has 
absolutely the worst kind so I'll, I'll take it slow i'll try to take it as slow as i can okay to heck with being late as long as we don't have a crash i'll Horse be happy carriage road yeah the first time I, I drove through here i crashed into so many different vehicles hit the curbs hit those parked vehicles hit the moving vehicles and everything else i'm not sure i'm gonna hit that guy so i'll take it super slow as in okay i think i can use this space here thankfully okay that's good that was not a violent Jesus. okay there you go yeah hitting the curb a bit did you hear that beep was that like a deduction or something slow down <laughs> slowest driver ever right i am so slow that they decided to meet me halfway <laughs> okay there you go okay. sure let's just hurry it up and why the heck is there an ambulance in my back seven next hello driver can i have a single please single there you go hurry up hurry up 19 degrees good reduce the heating bit by bit open the window close the window it's a bit noisy <laughs> turn right kind of like this sign it's very realistic i did that in paint.net i drew that myself i looked for how what the sign in real life looked like and uh, i modified it a bit okay right and i'll be keeping on the left as much as i can because those barriers on the right side they're very uh they're very sensitive so even if you don't hit them like if even if you're a few inches away they register as a hit and uh, people will want to leave your bus and you'll damage your bus all the bad things okay good wow we're already two minutes late imagine that that's insane that right, we'll try to make up for time uh, i'm not sure if we can manage though We'll do our very best. Hamlet Lane? Yep, still good. Is anyone riding with us? I think someone will. Oh, most of them are. That's a new voice. Good. Thank you. Alright. Go. Maybe we can speed it up now. Bit by bit. William Street. Now in Bodenham, you can go up to 48 safely. What 48 is in this speedometer, it's not very exact. But I guess we can go almost just below 50, to put it simply. Yeah. Alright, that's good. Cars are able to pass. This is, the, this is the silent guy. I hate putting tickets for him. Because I have no clue what he wants. The silent kid, the emo kid. Okay. Right, so far we're still alive. Passengers still haven't left. So I thought I would mark that as a win actually. Let's not celebrate just yet though. We are far away from the destination. We still have a lot of uh, faces. Still had to have a lot of things that can go wrong. Okay, he's gonna exit. Didn't see the signal. Right. Exiting the roundabout like so. Good. Good. Right, now we can speed up. Three minutes late. That's not good. 
Okay, if we can maintain the speed, we can somehow manage it some, hopefully. Right, yeah, you can see. So we don't really need to speed. <coughs> we don't really need to beat the lights or anything. You just maintain the speed limit all the time and you'll, ha you'll be hopefully be making it. So you can see we're uh, 2.6 minutes late now. That's a bit of an improvement. Can you ride from there? Yes, you can. Admittedly, that's a bit far, but... Uh, a die rider, please. Okay. Sure. 2, 3, 15. Oh, car on the left. Let's go. Punch it, Chewy. Now, I might need to speed, a, speed a little bit. I'm hoping there is no uh, speed radar because with the bus company simulator add-on they did put in speed radars randomly around the map. It changes every time. I've never been caught before but I don't want this to be the first time. So we'll try to pace it, okay? And I'll try to do it the right way. Yeah. Sticking to 48. More or less. Uh, also, by the way, I, I did ask uh, the developers of this add-on, PDP developers of the bus company add-on uh, what are the actual criteria for the driving skill if you remember I had that question the evaluation now I'm recording this in advance so I haven't seen any comments yet in case anyone commented but I did try to ask the developers themselves <clears throat> although they did say that the driving computation is actually done by OMSI by OMSI itself and not by the add-on so they're just maybe reflecting what is being computed inside the game and so, I, I'll have to check with OMSI directly. Now, I, I, <laughs> I don't know how, how I'll be doing that because I don't think the developers are active anymore, right? One of them actually split. Okay, someone left. Yeah, someone did. Door closing now. Good. Right, look at the time. <clears throat> We're now more ju just more than two minutes late. If we keep this up, we might be able to catch up. Fingers crossed. Oh. The King's dead rest. Wait a minute, what line are we on? 375. That was a bit confusing, those arrows. I'll let you know if you like the arrows, or you can also change it a bit. <clears throat> so if I'm like in Berlin Spandau or in Bodenham or any map which can actually which has the, the feature of the, the dynamic arrows, this is how it will look like. The fictional Stetchin, it doesn't have those fictional arrows. So you can <clears throat> so that's why you see the blue ones. But uh, dynamic arrows, I mean. And sorry for my voice, guys. I'm trying to do a lot of uh, advanced recording in the past few days, and uh, my voice is paying for it. Because I'll be out the entire next week so I'm trying to record videos in advance for you guys so even if I'm out you can still watch something yeah, yeah it's all good King's Dead Church let's go in 48 this let's turn on the turn off that retarder I do like having that direct retarder you know whenever you let go of the accelerator that you get those, so uh, you get immediately a retarder effect. Helps a lot with the braking. 15 cents. Good to go. Right? Why does it say right when it should be left? Or oh, the right and then left. Okay, gotcha. Probably because this is a roundabout. Come on, guys. Work with me here. Now I'm assuming when there's a roundabout that looks like that, you can easily just go over it if you're a bus. If you're a car, you go around, but if you're a bus, there is no way you can go through that, right? That's what I think. It seems too narrow, it seems too small for a bus to fit in. So I'm guessing those are for small vehicles only. Covered. 
Nice. Boss. <laughs> I know, I know. But I saw I saw a bit of uh I saw a bridge and those of you who are familiar with my trucking series know that I love bridges. I love taking pictures while on bridges. So I think this one is just the perfect scene for that. That doesn't look very scenic to be honest, but that one does. So let me take one more. Uh, maybe something like that. That is thumbnail worthy and let's continue. I love this boss feature in the game. I wish ETS2 also had this. That's awesome. That's so simple to take pictures with like that. Yeah, yeah let's stick to 48 here. In terms of time, we are a bit late again. Past three minutes and we'll, we'll, it'll be uh, will be tagged as too late, but before that it's still okay. So we are just hanging in there barely. Also, by the way, I managed to fix the elemental map. I created a ticket in the PDP forums, in the PDP site. Asked them why doesn't elemental tag itself as uh, why doesn't it consider me as having installed it. And it turns out there is a different Lemental version, Lemental V3 updated. It's done by a different developer, by a different modder. And it's the one they're using for the multiplayer. So I actually have to download more files in order for it to work. It's like a Lemental uh, V3 updated version. So it's, I should get, be getting that instead. Hello. Good morning. And yes, you can understand me because we are in Boden. People here speak English for a change. Nice. Right? Push it. Whist green. Whist green. Whoa. How's the temperature? 48. Uh, 21 rather. Speed is 48. Slow down, direct heat order. Touch the brakes a little because it is a bit of a, a downhill. Need to uh, supplement it with brakes. Oh, wasn't it 48? Wait a minute. Maybe we could have gone faster earlier. Because this one is 48. 30 miles is around 48 kilometers. Maybe it was 50 miles a while ago. Man, we could have saved a lot of time there. Sure thing. Two, three, fifteen yeah. for you. Okay, turning left. Not really. Maybe just a bit. Okay. Make sure not to hit those uh, barriers on the left or right. I always get paranoid in this game because the, the roads seem too narrow or the buses seem too wide, I don't know. I don't really got to get it. Something feels wrong. Okay. In car on the left. Incoming car on the right. But I think we can just push on through like so. There you go. Wow. Could there be more arrows, guys? <laughs> I think I saw a note about this for Bodenham. Like, uh, I think there was a, a special add-on which fixes the arrows. Made by the author himself, but it's like a, uh, an optional installation. And I don't think I have it installed. But I mean, it doesn't matter that much. Since we have... Uh, we have the GPS on the left anyway, so the arrows are just supplemental. It's, they're still essential though. Both things still need to be there because it's, it gets too confusing otherwise. Because sometimes the stops aren't documented well. Barton Lido. Barton Lido. Okay. And then we can push it later on 
because this is a 50 mile zone nice 50 is around 80 kilometers i think 50 miles is around 80 kilometers i believe hopefully yep we're good there and the steering you have to be very 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 careful with the steering because it is a very uh, sensitive place the passengers are super sensitive about that okay this guy is not having it though this guy is not having it <laughs> it's just going super slow yeah the passengers really complain when you steer too much when you steer too dramatically and when you're going at around 50 kilometers per hour they, they really complain okay this is good can make a lot of time here it's also good that this bus is kind of so actually yeah this is kind of slow slow bus because it's pretty old I, I would guess it doesn't have the strongest horsepower the latest technology and whatever there we go back to 48 miles uh, kilometers per hour Barton Lido here we are personally I would have called it a Barton Lido but the announcer said so so we follow it good morning guys Ooh, give me a tie rod in my sure thing mate 15 cents. Lovely. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers is a very common uh, greeting in the UK, isn't it? Like, I have, I know a lot of people who use it. A lot of co workers of mine who were from the UK. But outside, I don't think anyone else uses it. Or maybe Australians Castle do. View. Yeah, I think Australians do. Castle View. This is them. Let's try to stop right in front of them. So we gave, they give us a high score. Okay, short. 315. So yeah, I managed to install the Elemental map. But I haven't been able to try it yet. Because the problem is in multiplayer, whenever you buy a whenever you try a map, whenever you drive on it for the first time, you have to get the permission for it. Lag, things loading in. You have to get the permission for it first. And the permission is very expensive, especially if it's a large map. So I'm assuming it's going to be around in the thousands, this permission that I need. What the heck did he say? Uh, 2, 4, 20. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. What, what kind of accent is that? <laughs> I have no clue. Turn off the fan, it's getting a bit hot. Looks like the temperature is falling too much now. Let's leave it at level 1. It's kind of laggy in this place, isn't it? Lots of details, I guess. So in, in Lemental map, I, I wasn't able to try it yet, the updated version. Oh, but it does come with additional AI. Where the heck was he going? Did, did he like? What is this? Uh, lady. That doesn't seem too. <laughs> that doesn't seem too good. What the heck is she doing? All right, have it your way. I hope no one is going left. All right, I'm not seeing any indicators. Perfect. Haven House. Because the AI has a tendency to just go left and cross your path without noticing where you are. So it's like, whatever. Hit you or not. It's not their problem. It's not them who get damaged. It's not them who have to have the bus fixed. Oh, no takers? Fine. Alright. What the heck?
All right, I, I'm assuming that lady just went down our bus and crossed the street and went through our bus in the process. Man, that's pretty freaky. <laughs> Charlie Street. <laughs> yeah, that really is kind of freaky. Just passed through us, huh? Imagine if that was true. Man, I'm getting goosebumps right now. Hey, takers. Not really sure if you guys want to ride with me. But I'll give you a chance. Nope. Okay. That just lost me a bit of time. Oh yeah, the railroads. Speaking of railroads, I hate these things. Especially in the fictional Stetchin map. Wessex Street. The railroads actually cause your passengers to complain, even if you're not doing anything wrong. It's because it's too bumpy. The passengers are getting rocked. So even if you're not doing anything, just cross the railroad slowly, like at one kilometer per hour. You get in trouble for it. Okay, no one no one here? Good. We'll be able to save time. Yeah, so you'll be in trouble. I've had so many troubles with railroads. You might have seen some in the stream. I actually did a drive earlier there. And yeah, I, I think it's line 800... 8 something, 3 digits starting with 8. That line I'm never going to take again in fictional stetching. Because it's just, just, it's just a wreck. If I were to take it, I would probably take off collisions because it's filled with uh, these tight roads and these railroads that are super unfair. People coming off? We're going off? Yeah. Yeah, and that there's just, just no chance for you to make a clean, a clean ride. It's frustrating actually, but yeah, what can you do? So yeah, maybe next time if I if I realize that I, I've taken that route, I'll just take off collisions. I'll just turn off collisions. And even though collisions gives you like makes you lose half of the profit, I think it would be worth more than worth it because it's going to be less of a headache. At least there is that. And you know, we play this game mostly for stress relief and uh, a little bit of excitement, but not too much excitement, yeah? So I think it's just perfect. Okay, no one is riding with us anymore. That, that might be because we're nearing the end of the line. And uh, probably doesn't make much sense for them. Yeah, people going off now. Also, I learned, I did read up a few articles on how to drive a bus just to help improve my skills, so-called skills. So it turns out that when you're doing a right turn like this, this is one of the hardest things a bus driver can or needs to do. Turning right and then right after you turn right, there's the bus stop. So yeah, in those cases, you really have to stay in your lane. And then when you turn right, that's when you can eat up the other side of the lane. You shouldn't, uh, it says you shouldn't eat up the, the lane before your turn. You should eat up the lane after your turn. That would make it better. Okay, go guys, go. Please go. Unless you're giving way, go faster. Thank you. I don't hit anyone. Thank you. Yeah, I'll show you later. I'll demonstrate it later again. Crap, three minutes late. I think this will be our first late station. Maybe we'll still make it. Who knows? Wow, he actually rode with us, huh? Return, please. Crap. I don't need this now. 20 cents. Go, go, go. <laughs> Sit down. I'm seeing a red traffic light. That's not a good sign. Oh man, we're, we're so close to the end. Alright. I see a green now. Man, this is so tight. Look at that. How tight that squeeze is. Okay, turn right here. Now this is a bit of trouble and there is a car incoming it's not very good please stop stop 
Stupid AI. Alright, so now, yeah, because of that AI, that's why I don't like this map. Because the AI is not compatible with it. Right, so now we have to work break hazard and report the, the, the accident. We call the police. That made us lose 10 minutes, so now we're absolutely late. Yeah, because if you don't do that, you'll be tagged as a hit and run, and you'll even you'll get even worse uh, scores. All right, at least the lights are still working. Headlights still okay. Yep, no damage on us. Just the pride is damaged. Yeah, that's the bad thing about this map. That's why I don't like to play on it that much. Maybe if I do, I, I just turn off collisions, huh? In general, I think people turn off collisions. At least for bus company simulator, everybody turned off collisions. Nowadays though, because everyone wants to earn money, they need to turn it on, okay? Actually, no one wants to go down here, right? But we don't need to rush anyway because we'll be late regardless. So, I think we could do about that. No one here? Good. Absolute bus station. Okay. This bus terminates here. Almost there. Man. I was kind of hoping near the end that we could have a clean run, but that car just wouldn't have it. He could have easily stopped, couldn't he? He could have easily stopped in midway, but no. He decided to spoil the fun. <laughs> Oh well, just another day in clumsy buzzing. But at least, yeah, that's more enough for you. It does look good though, it does look amazing. The level of detail in this map, it's just insane. It's just that the OMSI AI is not very friendly and it's not too compatible. If ever, you'll have to turn off collision so it doesn't give you much of a headache. Okay, uh, let me see how I turn here. It's a bit of a tricky turn as well because it ends like that. See? I think I have to reverse here. It's tricky. It looks so easy. But it's not that... that much of a walk in the park. Maybe I just haven't gotten the skill and the, the technique yet. Yeah. No worries. There is no rush. That's a good thing about being late. Don't need to rush anymore. <laughs> It doesn't matter if you're one second late or one hour late. As long as you're late, I think it's the, the score is the same. There you go. Everybody are, is alive though. Everybody is alive. There you go. Okay, everywhere except the last two stops or three stops. That's fine. Good for me. Alright. Good. Let's terminate the tour. And look at the score. We had uh, 21 bus stops, too late. That's not too bad. 90% punctuality, just a little bit of uh, scores there. Minus 60 points for a crash. I mean, not too bad. We sold a lot of tickets though, and in terms of passenger satisfaction, 100% and driving is 62.7%. Whenever I record an episode, I get the highest driving scores. When I drive offline, I get like 30 or 40 percent. <laughs> Max is 50 percent. All right, that sums up 1530. Not too bad, huh? Excellent, 89 percent. And no damage on the bus overall. So we get uh, 1454. Imagine that. That's amazing. Back to the office. Now we wait. You see, we have a couple of people who are driving with us now. I'm not alone. So they realized that they, their applications got accepted and they've been doing jobs and they've been actually fixing the buses for me. So thanks a lot, guys, who are fixing the bus because I, I, I've, I've, I've done a lot of derpiness and uh, I've, I've broken a lot of indicators and headlights. But I don't have the skill for the headlights yet, so... I can't really fix it myself. I can't even detect it myself. But thank goodness for them. They gave me... Why is this chair going farther and farther away? 
Yeah, they, they actually fixed some of the buses for me. They detected and fixed it. So if I have a look here, I am starting to pay off my loans. Yeah. So if I look at the buses, oh, no, 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 my bad. Oh, the CETO is fixed. I fixed this before I before I took the job. I was planning to take that. I saw there was an, an, an issue. So I decided to use the 0405 instead. Okay. Still good. 237 EP. Um, what else? Completed trainings. Um, let's pay off the loans first. Manage bills. Because I will be out next week. That means I'll have to pay off everything this week. So I do have one seven, right? Yeah. I did pay already for the fictional uh, Stetchen and the Bodenham maps. Those are the expensive ones. The permission for them. So the rest are uh, 300 euros for uh, basically the the bus permissions okay can you pay all of that perfect how much left 513 left all right so we can probably pay for that one and that one and then we would need 1200 around one five more and we should be debt free that's awesome after that i can start training for the other skills for repair you can see here, the tech lights and repair lights. This is what I need. This is what I need. Yeah, the wipers don't really need that much. Uh, heater. Wow, that can be broken. Insane in the doors. Wow, that's really. The electronics. I've had that one time. The entire electronics of the the bus got broken, and so everything that didn't work anymore. No lights. No indicators. No doors and everything. That was the worst. Maybe the worst is the engine, huh? Anyway, so no more money, but more debt-free. Cool. Let's have a quick look at the jobs. I'll show you that Lemental V3 updated is now available in my list. You can see it. Uh, wait a minute, where is it? There. It's now there. Lemental V3 updated. That's keyword. The default is Lemental V3. The one with the updated is a different version, but it requires the original V3. So go and check out the mods list in the video description, and you should see the the links there. Yeah, just make sure to download everything, or read the README and um, follow all the steps. Download all the required files. You see, there these are pretty long rides, but I do want to try that. Although, yeah, if I go and take a shift here. I'll need to pay for it separately so that won't do that just won't do anyway that is it for now guys thank you for uh, staying with me hope you enjoy the ride not as smooth as i have hoped but it's Bodenham. so considering it's a very good run already <laughs> anyway thank you for watching and uh if you did enjoy the video please give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more updates in the meantime this is the clumsy geek signing off thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one Clumsy buzzing, guys. Bye-bye.